sunshines welcome back to my channel and welcome to the long-awaited tattoo video i know you guys have been so curious ever since i got my hand tattoos and i posted them on ig and on tiktok where you guys just see me kind of in action and you guys got questions a lot of the questions were more like uh, why so many tattoos at once or what did you get what are the meanings so i am here to address the meanings of the tattoos and uh why i got them all at once so if you guys are interested in this video then please keep on watching i'm gonna tell you guys about all my tattoos like every single one you guys are gonna get a visual of it and every single one so if you guys are interested please keep on watching if you are new here please hit that subscribe button down below turn on those notifications because i would love for you to become part of my youtube family it's a ever so growing community so i would be so thankful for your subscription and yeah anyways let's get started so First of all, why so many tattoos at once? Bitch, if you've never gotten a tattoo in your life or you don't know the expense of a tattoo, a lot of the fee comes from the sitting fee. It's called the sitting fee. Some tattoo artists charge as little as like $60 per sitting fee as, and some tattoo artists charge as much as like two, three hundred, four hundred dollars to sit down. That is literally just to sit down and get the tattoo. So you can get a literally $30 tattoo, but you still have to pay the sitting fee because you're paying for their setup and like them to get all their tools out and their sanitization practices or whatever the case may be. So each tattoo has a sitting fee if you're only getting one. So I made sure that I took my time and I got all the tattoos I wanted at once so that I only paid one sitting fee, which was like a phenomenal for me because I ended up spending like 500 and something dollars for 16 tattoos as opposed to spending who knows how much because each sitting fee would have been 80, 80, 80, 80 plus the tattoo cost. So for 15 tattoos, let's say at minimum, maybe 100 to 200 per tattoo. Do the math, maybe like three grand in the end when I only spent 500. So that was the smartest decision for me. And that's why I waited so long to do them. And that's why I got so many at once. I did have tattoos prior to all the ones that you guys have seen. So, yeah, I've always loved tattoos. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the actual t tattoos themselves. So I'm going to start with my hands because that's the easiest. And then we'll kind of work our way around my whole body. And you guys will have visuals inserted here as well so that you guys can see them. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to start with my left hand. So on my left hand, I got girl power. Uh, you guys know, or if you guys are new here, you guys don't know. But I tell my daughter, like, these self-affirmations. And uh, it says, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, God loves me. And the ending is girl power. And I'm, like, a big believer in girl power. And I just want to, like, instill that in my daughter. So it's, like, a reminder of the relationship that I have with my daughter. And something that is very important to me. Like, women empowerment, you know? Next one I got is a rose. So, uh... I love roses now. I didn't always love roses. It took me a long time to appreciate the beauty in a rose before I used to think that somebody buying you roses was like a waste of money. And now I go and buy myself roses. I don't know if you guys could see them in frame, but in that little white thing, I bought myself roses this uh, like two weeks ago and I just feel like they're so special and if you just appreciate them you can see the beauty in them and I, I just love them now in a way that I didn't love them before and I think too because I never tried to put so much meaning on like these little uh how do you say it like these little acts of love because I never really received them in my previous relationship so I never tried to put meaning or attachment to things like that but now they're so important to me like they mean something to me now that I value life so much more so that's why I got a rose and then the sun obviously bitch hello sunshines like a sun you guys know i'm a little ray of sunshine and i just love anything yellow and the sun just makes me happy getting that vitamin d or y'all know what kind of vitamin d2 makes you happy you know what i'm saying but um a little ray of sunshine so that's why i got the sun and then i actually got the text to say hello sunshine on my hand which i love i'm obsessed with this is like one of my favorite tattoos of all i've been saying hello sunshine since i started my content creation career on social media so my intro is like such a big part of me and part of what i do on social media so it's just very meaningful for me and then on the inside of my thumb right below my thumb i got uh, 1989 because that's 
obviously the year I was born in case my stupid ass forgets <laughs> what date to put on paperwork you know I just I'll, oh you were born 1989 there you go uh, and then on my right hand again I got another sun um, just for filler for aesthetic again but it's still some meaning to me and then I got a snake in my middle finger a lot of people don't like this my mom hates it she hates this um, and a lot of people who are like in the church have questioned it and stuff people that I know from the church um, but the reason I got it was because I was born the year of the snake and I feel that I move very much like a snake not in a serpent evil way but more so in a cautious very precautious very careful movement kind of to myself please don't get in my path and don't like try to block me from things because I'm gonna make my way around them type of way so not in like a malicious type of way but in that in a good way again because I was born the year of the snake in the Chinese calendar so that is why I got the snake and then I got a rose in red again same meaning just for aesthetics in red on this side and I really like it I really love red tattoos love them so so much and then I got no rain, no flowers, because much of my life or early beginnings of my life up until this point have been a lot of challenges and a lot of rain. And I'm finally seeing the flowers. Like, I, I have a fucking garden now. And the garden is just growing every day and it's just epic. It's beautiful. Magnetic proportions. So no rain, no flowers. Now moving up on this arm and then we'll go back to this arm. Right here I have what was my family. So I was married um, and that would have been my kid's dad, me and my kids and my dog Chiquita. So that's Chiquita right here. Uh, that is no longer obviously my family. We're not a full unit or a complete family like that anymore. He has his own life and I have my own life. So I am planning on covering that up. I just didn't want to be hasty on how I covered it up because I could get something small and cover it or I can get something bigger and have it flow into that tattoo and cover it. So once I decide on that, I will be covering the dad part. And yeah, you guys could easily say like obviously one day I'll be in a relationship again or married again, God willing, and he could be, you know, that. But it's like no because i got it with him he has the exact same thing i don't know if he's covered his but he has the exact same tattoo so and he has this exact same tattoo which we'll get to as well uh but i just i don't want it like i don't want it i know what it represents and i'm not gonna fake it with somebody else and say well it's you you know like let's make it be you now like no bitch it's not the case so now moving to the back side so this side of my arm um, I have a hanger and in between the hanger it's Gia Monet and the day that it was birthed so May 1st of 2013 and it was just a very meaningful tattoo for me because it was something that I did on my own and that I built and I was so proud of and I'm still so very proud of and it was a huge part of my life and it got me to this place now so I just, I love this tattoo. It's so meaningful to me. And it was something that just was a, a huge part of my life for so long. And such an accomplishment for me. The one right above it is an angel. So right before I got pregnant with Eli, I had a miscarriage. And I was so devastated. And I thought it was going to be a girl. And uh, so my kid's father has this same tattoo. He just doesn't have the flowers beneath it. I got the flowers because I had a very deep feeling and intuition that it was going to be a girl. And since the day I had found out that I was pregnant, um, I wanted to name her Gia Monet. So that's where the name for my boutique came from, from that child that was lost that never came to life. Uh, so that's what that tattoo is. And then you move it on up and we have 1111. So I got this tattoo because 11 and 11 has a lot of different meanings to me. But the biggest one is that my father passed on January 11th of 21. So that number sequence is 1111 if you remove the two. But prior to him dying that whole week, all I saw was four ones consecutively for like the the or the first 10 days of January that's all I saw and I couldn't understand why and there was like so many like very weird things happening I don't want to say supernatural because it wasn't like a scary thing but just like these things that I was like why is that standing out to me so much like why is that standing? and everything had a 111 attached to it or whenever I would feel or see something it had a 111 attached to it and then my father passes on uh 
1 11 21 and that's where that came from and also too um with my ex-boyfriend and well he's my friend now but he has a significant meaning for 11 11 as well and so we got the tattoos together like at the same time and it just was like a special little moment you know and then um in the back of my arm i have jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans i have for you uh because I have come to realize even though I'm disobedient as ever and even though I am stubborn I've come to realize that God's plan for me is always better than the plans I had for myself and if it's not more clear now than it is ever like I don't know when it will ever be because I just received like some of the greatest news the actually the other day that I would be able to pre-qualify for a home on my own and not even in the 10 years in my marriage was I 10 11 years in my marriage did we ever have that blessing even be like a speckle in our mind we never were able to qualify for one reason or another and it's just reaffirming that god's plan is always better than mine and over here i'm thinking that like we're being hindered we're not being blessed and all these things but it, honestly it really was the biggest blessing because then we're gonna go through this divorce and who knows what would have happened and then now look at in two years of being on my own i would actually be able to buy my own home on my own with god's blessing so god's plans always far better than the plans i have for myself and they're probably better than the plans you have for yourself so uh that's very meaningful to me and then back to this arm so i got this tattoo when i was active duty and it's just referencing a time in my life where i uh it's like this uh japanese writing and i didn't feel whole and complete and honestly rightfully so i was so young and i felt like i had just left my entire life behind and i feel like i couldn't start my life and i felt like oh just so i don't know like sad i don't know i can't i can't explain it uh not complete i don't know it's so many emotions right so i got the tattoo it i've never really told very many people what it means but it means infinite beauty so it was just a reminder to myself that there's infinite beauty in every part of the journey and just to continue to remind myself of the infinite beauty that's around no matter what like it doesn't matter what season of your life you're in there's so much life and beauty to be appreciated regardless of the position that you're in or if you're not feeling your best you can still look around and be thankful and have like there's beauty in everything you know so that's what that one is and then i got this one this is a phoenix so this means rising from the ashes very much like my life oh my gosh speaking of ashes i have another one right here this one says beauty for ashes so this is in red ink and it says beauty for ashes again god's promise to give us beauty for ashes this again much of my life and now i seeing it from the outside in and much of my testimony is like a life of beauty has been given to me from the ashes um, that were my life and so that's the meaning for those and then right here it's a Bible verse again and it says no weapon formed against me shall prosper and I have full faith that no weapon formed against me will ever prosper because I have yet to witness one that has ever prospered one not one not one like not one not one that was ever formed has ever been able to be like bang bang never never so don't try it because you can't play with god's favorites you can't don't play with us uh so yeah so that's what that one is and then on the back of my arm i have a hummingbird i've talked about what a hummingbird means to me on my channel quite a bit uh but if you guys don't know and you guys are new here my father did pass away like i told you guys and a hummingbird is very symbolic to me of like his presence or God gifting me his presence or like reaffirming my feelings so whenever I've gone through something very very hard since his passing and I need like some form of reassurance or like like I'm with you I know my dad is not present I know his spirit is not present but God can show me that he's still there like he still lives inside of me and a hummingbird will show up literally will stare me dead in the face and stop me in my tracks it's crazy even when i filmed my video of closing my business i was filming that video on my business channel and as i started filming a hummingbird just flew past stopped and then took off isn't that beautiful oh so thankful so then and then at the bottom of it it says i'm very proud so my dad 
Uh, he didn't speak very English very fluently. And so instead of saying very, he would say Barry, like it wouldn't come out right. So it's, I'm very proud, like I'm very proud. Uh, and he would always tell me like, I'm very proud of you mama all the time. So that's why I got the words underneath it, just to show that that tattoo is something for my dad, you know? And then, uh, moving on, I have uh, three little birds on the back of my ear here. And you guys will see right here, inserted. So the three little birds are my three baby birds. Um, Eli, Ace, and Mila, my babies. I love them to death. Even, uh, even bringing their names up makes me, like, choke up. I just love them. But they're so annoying, but I love them so, so much. But I got three little birds for my three little birds, Eli, Ace, and Mila. And then um, down my neck right here in cursive, I have Todo Con Amor because ever since my dad's passing, I feel like I just try to move with love as much as possible and do everything with love, even in the most basic types of relationships and friendships and just with anybody, just moving with love and, and being present and fully in the moment and just, I don't know, just spreading that love and making everybody feel that way, regardless of what capacity our relationship is at i still want you to feel like i'm attentive and loving to you and make you feel good like my presence should make you feel good and when you leave you should feel better than when you encountered me at first you know so that's what todo con amor is and then on this side i got a butterfly so a butterfly my mom loves butterflies it's a red butterfly it's a representation of my mom a little butterfly right here on the right side and then the last tattoo I have is on, oh, I have two more. The la the ones I have on my body are a hummingbird on my left hip with a rose. I got that when I was young, okay? That was my first tattoo, um, the hummingbird when I was 18. And uh, the hummingbird is not hummingbirding as much anymore. And isn't that funny that I got a hummingbird at 18 and how much meaning it would have now at almost 34? It has so much meaning to me now. But I got that hummingbird then. It's not really a hummingbird anymore. The beak is a little uneven because I had my C-sections and it's like sewn in a different position. So like the beak is like half over here, half over here. Y'all see. But anyways, so I have the hummingbird and then I added the rose when I lived in North Carolina. Just because I wanted to get a tattoo. Because I had money because I'm dumb. Dumb. Yeah, couldn't find anything better to spend my money on, Jackie. But uh, I don't love it. But I don't hate it. I won't ever get it removed. But it's not, I'm not like a number one fan of it. You know? I don't know. And then um, on my right side, I got the Roman numerals 3, 6, 9. And uh, a California with a heart. And that is for my best friend's daughter. Who's, she's my soulmate, I feel like. She's like my woman soulmate. Uh, I just love her. We don't have to talk all the time. And... Sometimes we can even feel what one like if something's going on and like I'll message her I'll be like hey I just want to tell you I love you she's like oh my god I was having the worst day ever or vice versa and I'm like oh my god dude you don't even know and like it just I feel like she's my soulmate and so I was with her when her first child was born and that's for her daughter so for her name's Callie Love and she was born on March 6 of 2009. Uh, so it was just a very meaningful thing for me and it was out of so much love for her and her daughter and how how much she meant to me in my life like and how much this baby brought us joy while we were active duty somewhere on the east coast and it was just her and I that's all we had especially being Cali girls now we live right here she lives down the street she lives like an hour away or 40 minutes away and she has five kids now and our lives are so different but yet so much the same and still so much love alive so yeah but yeah, that is it, you guys. That is the full uh, what my tattoos mean. I hope that now you guys know. You guys have been so curious. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys at next time's video. Ciao.